Insecure episode six. So um, throwaway. throwaway episode. It was it a throwaway? I don't think it was a throwaway. It was funny. TV so good. They do this to us. Mm-hmm. They had a big falling out. Yeah. In the last episode, and this episode, it was almost as if it wasn't like it was like. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna touch that too much. We're just gonna kind of. It was the aftermath. Is the, the, the aftermath from Issa's aftermath. perspective? Yeah. Uh, Kelly's calling her, like urging her to call Molly and and fix things. Um, and then I guess Issa just like takes this day to herself, self care day, self care Sunday. Drives around this hilarious old man. <laughs> uh, goes to this paint and sip. Meets his group of chicks. Kyla you Pratt. Feel bad for Issa? Yeah, I I do, but I also know that I wouldn't do what Issa did. <laughs> I wouldn't go out with strangers. I, if, <laughs> is that possible for that to happen? For that to happen. Yeah, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. I didn't. I didn't like. I. I, I personally, I didn't like that episode. This was a serious issue. I think the redeeming quality from for this episode for me was that it was funny. Was that there were funny moments? There were funny moments. Uh, in the and I think it's important because like you have, you've been in relationships where you have an argument with somebody and the next day is kind of just like, if you don't talk to them immediately, it's kind of figuring out shit. What the is fuck it happened? Yes. Yes. No. No. I, I understand the aftermath part. I think specifically with um, that whole Issa getting scammed thing, Uh I just felt like it was a very far left um, of reality post a fight. It's like Issa has a lot of shit going on right now. Mm -hmm. The moment where she has to realize that she's alone and whatever, whatever else it is, doesn't have to come. It didn't need to come from getting ditched. These two moments in the episode, right? Um, she meets the girls at the Peyton set. She's providing. She has the wine, the big ass bottle of wine. They sip. They have they, a good they, time. They, they get to know each other. Really of course, of course, okay. we all okay. did. We all did. Yeah. Uh, and then Which, they. I didn't know where they were going with. It. I didn't know if, they, if she was going to get new friends. I didn't know what was going on. Continue. They, they ask her to go out to have lunch, have food. She does. They run up the bill. They ditch her. Leave her with the bill. I feel like all of that, all the things that like Issa probably feels like she wasn't getting from her friends or Molly at the time. She felt like she was getting that from them, right? She was looking Start, for yes. something. Yeah, okay, okay. She's looking okay. for some energy, looking for some love, looking for some, yes. for some companionship, which is why she probably even calls Nathan earlier that day to talk to Nathan. No, for sure. So she's looking yes. for somebody to yes. talk to to feel, right? And then she's looking for to, ex- to escape also because Kelly's calling her with the real deal, but she doesn't want to talk to Kelly about the real shit. She wants to escape. She wants to have fun. It wants to be simple. Wants to be easy, right? Yeah. And then after you know she leaves the restaurant, they stiff her with the check. She goes to her mom's house, and then is when she like that's the moment that releases. Yes, that's the exactly. moment. Exactly when she's with her mom, hugs, crying, needs that. Like that's that's what she was looking for that entire day. And she, she was got, looking for that yes. feeling that entire day, and finally went somewhere where she so could that's get what it. They were, that's what, okay. I guess I just think that. Because this is such a, I think they have a very, they're on a good thing right here. I think they're highlighting relationships, which we've spoken about before, mm-hmm. and how important it is, um, and, and how these things actually happen. I just felt like her getting ditched was so far left, which kind of threw me off. I think figuratively, I who, think- Who has that happened to? Who has that happened to? It's never happened to me. Nigga, what? Who has that happened to? I don't even know anybody that's happened to within my within my circles. It might be something that happens because they they were doing like this little scavenger hunt bullshit. I know what they were doing, but I'm just like, yo, come on, that's a lot. So at the end at the end of uh, the episode, if you're Issa and you're walking into that spot to get your food, and you see Molly, are you walking in that spot? It depends what space we're in. Well, it's 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 after everything. It's, it's after, after everything? the day we haven't spoken. I randomly see you. You randomly see Molly at this spot. You know if you walk in, you have to say something. See, no. See, that's the thing. I have this unique gift where I don't, if I don't want to say it, if, 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 if I walk into a restaurant and you're not there, in my head, you're not there. And I guess it's evident. She does not want to have a conversation with her at all. No, she's, Issa, throughout yeah. the entire day, has avoided this yeah. situation. I think men and women are different. I do believe that. Um, for women, I don't think that you can walk into that... Um, situation without it coming off as you're being if you don't say a word you're being too petty or you're being like cold i think as a dude if i walk in and you in there and i want to get my food in and dip i think i could do that 
if I'm Issa, given the day that Issa's had, Issa's not in a place to have that conversation with Molly right now. So I think she made the right choice and not going in there. Issa has not because been in I, a place to have this conversation in a while, though, and I think that's what's been the issue. They've they've both been in the place not to have the conversation all nah, fucking Molly's season. Been, Molly's been Molly, Molly's been willing. Molly, Molly, Molly has, has been t- willing. Yes, twice, you, you are right. Times. That's why I was Team Molly. You're right. Molly's Molly has tried, tried on multiple so, occasions, and then Issa hits her hits her with the. But I need this from you. I think Issa made the right move for Issa. I think she made the best move for both of them. Honestly, what I was thinking about is so you're not gonna get your food. Um, but I think right. she made the right choice right. in respect to her and Molly's relationship. <laughs> That's actually a really great question. Yeah, so you're not going to you're you're not not, get your food? Yeah, bitch, you're not hungry. But is, is I mean, is she concerned about their relationship? Like, are are either of them concerned about their relationship going forward? About fixing it? About See, what it's going to turn into? I don't know where headspace they're in. Like, I don't know. So it's one thing to like, yo, it's beef, but like, that's my dog. The dust settles, like, you know what I mean? Like, we got to make this right. And there's another thing to be like, yo, like, honestly, I'm fed up. With, like, we can just part ways today if i if i'm done with you and your ways if i'm rory and chris Styles is in the spot you know what i'm saying and i've drawn that line i think you walk in you grab your food and you dip i think you say yo you good and you dip you feel me but if it's like if this is a relationship that i care about and i want to cultivate i think that i need to be in a headspace to have that conversation so i either go in and have it or i don't next week we're gonna see molly on vacay with andrew are we I didn't, I don't that, yeah, that was the preview. Yeah, that was the preview. Uh, Molly on vacay with Andrew and some of Andrew's, it looks like his work friends. And Molly just looks like she's letting loose, having a good time, like trying to forget everything that happened. And we'll see what the dialogue is between. Oh, wow. I'm exci- I don't look at previews. I'm excited yeah, 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 for that. Yeah. Wow, Trevor, give me a little insight. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> HBO Insider over We'll here. see. Fucking <laughs> Terrence J before it starts. I'm not Terrence Day. You're not going to catch me in a car with some wild chick in a car accident. Hey, who is Shorty? <laughs> we still don't know. We still don't know. If next week is like a retrospective on how Molly's handling it, if it's eight, if it's eight episodes, then episode eight has to be like some kind of, not even if it's not a resolution, then just like some kind of like, you know, this is where we're at right now. Yeah. And this is how it's, how it's going to clear. I want to clear her um, description of where they're at right now, respectively. Ah, I think it's hard to figure out. No, that's what I'm saying. I want the episode to yeah. give me. I want I want oh, it to make it clear like where they're at. I want I want I want to know in episode eight, like or what the next episode, like, hey, they're either gonna they want they want they want a friendship or they don't want a friendship. I wanna know where they're where they're at right now individually. Got it.